Hello, in this video we're going to be uh, using cubes to find the volume of uh, this prism here. And as you can see, uh, this prism isn't completely filled with cubes, it's only partially filled. And so what would the volume be if we did fill up the whole thing? Well, volume, as we've been talking about, has three dimensions. Okay, it's a three, 3D, three D, three dimensions. And uh, if we're talking about a formula for finding volume, we could think about volume equals volume equals length. So we're going to think of length being from left to right. Okay, so volume equals length. And then we multiply that by the width. And when I think of width, uh, I think of from the front to the back. Okay, so the, the width. So the length, the width, and then we also multiply that by the height. And the height is going to be from the bottom to the top. So that gives us our three dimensions. Our dimension of length, our dimension of width, our dimension of height. So let's, let's try to figure out the volume of this prism. And as I'm going with the length, uh, looking from left to right, one of the things that I do to help me when we're doing problems like this is I like to shade in the top. Okay, so I've got one top here, and then, and that's in this row of the length. Then I move on to the next row of the length, which is here. So that's two. Then I move to the third one. And if you notice, in this, in the third row, they have two prisms here. Or excuse me, they have two cubes. But we only count the tops of one of them. So that gives me three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So for the length, there are eight cubes from left to right. Then I'm going to move on to the width. And the width is from the front to the back. And when I'm looking at width, I'm looking at the sides of the cubes. So I've got one in this row. Okay, I've got one row. You can see a tiny part here. So that would be two rows. Then I have three rows for the width from front to back. And then there's another tiny small side there so that gives me four so the width is four there's four cubes or four rows of cubes from the front to the back that brings us to the height when I shade in the height I shade in the fronts so I've got one two three four, five. So I have a height of five. And since we're finding volume again, we're going to multiply those together. And when I multiply, I like to make it as easy as possible for me in my head to multiply it together. So for this one, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to start with four times five. Four times five is 20. I'm done with those two, so now I have to do 8 times 20. 8 times 20. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, I'm actually going to go ahead and write it down here. So 8 times 20, and then 8 times 20 is 160. Now, we do not know if the sides of these cubes are inches, centimeters, so we're just going to call it units. And since it's three dimensions, we're going to put an exponent of 3 here. So the volume of this prism is 160 units cubed. Or we could also write cubic units. Then on our home link for the practice, prob practice portion, we are back to doing uh, order of operations again. And I'm going to try to go through three problems very quickly. And the first one that I'm going to do is 30 plus 40, 30 plus 40 times 5. 
and for this one the 30 and the 40 are going to be in parentheses so as you as we've been talking about you have to start the parentheses first so 30 plus 40 30 plus 40 is 70. I'm done with this part so then I bring down the times 5 and I do 70 times 5 which gives me an answer of 350 done with that so 30 plus 40 in parentheses times 5 is equal to 350 now what if we did that exact same problem but we put the parentheses in the different in the different spots so if we did 30 plus parentheses 40 times 5 are we going to get the same answer well let's see so we're going to start off with our parentheses again 40 times 5 40 times 5 is 200 and um, so then we have to bring down the 30 plus so 30 plus 200 is 230 and as you can see those answers are not the same that's why it's important when we're doing order of operations to follow the correct order of operations because you may not always end up with the same answer um, using a problem with the same numbers in it okay so let's do one more problem here and this is one that's going to have two sets of parentheses in it so we're going to have three times six in parentheses and to that we're going to we're going to do divided by 15 subtract 13 3 times 6 divided by uh, 15 subtract 13 so I start with my parentheses again 3 times 6 is 18 so I'm done with those parentheses then I have 15 subtract 13 which is 2 so I'm done with that and now uh, I bring down my division symbol oops wrong color but that's okay and then I have 18 divided by 2 which is 9 so 3 times 6 in parentheses divided by 15 subtract 13 in parentheses equals 9 uh, hope this video helped you out if you have any questions make sure you let your teacher know and have a good rest of your day